Are the keywords baffling you in the Amazon KDP listing? If so, then this video is for you. Whether you're new to KDP and have not yet uploaded any books or whether or not you've got books uploaded, did you know you can go back in and edit your keywords? So just because you've uploaded them, you've left them. If you're not getting sales, follow some of these tips and I hope they will help you. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to take a niche of prayer journals which is a book that I am just about to create and I am going to show you the research that I'm going to do for that. Then next week I will show you how I create my prayer journals. So make sure that you don't get to like and subscribe, make sure your notification bell is turned on so that you don't miss out on that video. Let's jump over onto the computer and I will show you book bowl, how I'm using it, how I do my KDP research, and yeah, I hope that you find lots of useful nuggets in here for you. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is just make sure that within the prayer journal niche that people are actually searching for this. You can see here it's coming up, prayer journal for women, for men, for teen girls, for kids, for girls, for women to write in, for women spiral bound, for teens, for black women, for boys. So it clearly is getting searches. Now I'm just gonna come over here, hit on my KDP spy and let that run through because this is just essentially our page one listing. So that's kind of what I want. So these ones here, these are the ones where they have probably got their keyword research absolutely spot on. These are appearing up on the first page and therefore we can have a look. You can go through and you can save these books and then it will transport them over onto your book bolt account. So what I want to do is just make sure that we can see that these are being searched for. So I would look for a BSR of under 300,000 and you can see here straight away, the first few listings absolutely are. So we've got more, that one there is just over just over there but we've got another one another one so this here tells me straight away that this is a really good niche because we are getting quite a few of these ranked up in the top 300,000 books on Amazon so that is brilliant next I want to have a look at what the estimated revenue is now this is per month but what I want to do is have a look and see more than newer listings, because you can see here, this is 21, this is 2020. So this is their estimated sales per month, estimated revenue. If I just click on that, then we can see there what our bigger sellers are. So we've got, that was published on 2019, but look, estimated revenue, $23,500. I mean, that is not too shabby. This one here, this is really interesting. So this was only published end of September 22. Estimated monthly sales, 990, $16,000. And this one here is a prayer journal for teen girls. 52 weeks scripture, devotional and guided prayer journal. And there we go, we can just see that. And it does, it looks lovely, it looks professional. And that's what you need to think about. It's no good just going on and slapping on prayer journal for teen girls. You need to make it look as though it is for that market. So make sure that as you're doing it, that your book does look professional, that we're there, we're there to compete. We're not there to hang around. If you want to do this and make it as a serious side hustle, or even possibly, you know, a potential full-time income then really do take the time think about who you're marketing to so that is really good and you can see there it's BSR ranking is 2,386 so absolutely incredible they're charging $16.16 so they they're not the cheapest at all and this is what I think about when we're pricing our KDP books it's often 
I see so many notebooks on there and journals and things like that where I'm like, they cannot be making very much profit at all because they are charging so low. I mean, we know that the books, Amazon do take quite a large percentage in terms of when it comes to your printing costs and things like that, but you want to be competitive. So that's a September 22. That's 21, 18. This one's an April 22. Now this one here is 4.99. So I doubt their margin is very high. And there you go. So you can see they're nearly seven and a half thousand dollars. Another 22 here with a BSR of 31,000. Pour out your heart prayer journal, cloth overboard. So this one here isn't a KDP journal. So that's what I would say, they are commanding a higher price. But that doesn't matter either. They're still there, they're still competing with you. So it's still worth thinking about. Here we go, we've got a July. That one's got a BSR of 73,800, $421 a month. I mean, who is going to snub their nose up at that? I definitely am not. So here we go, we've got another one, $77,253. And this is just from one of their books. So imagine they've got more within this listing. So really, really interesting there. So as I say, you can tick these across, you can save them and pop them into your spreadsheet, pop them into book bolt. But now I'm just gonna come over here and click onto the keywords. So when we type in prayer journal, this is then going to tell us the Amazon search volume. So a prayer journal journal, interesting, gets 95,173 searches per month, which is, you know, an astronomical amount. I'm looking for something closer to a thousand, maybe lower. So again, you can just click over here. So that's going to put your top searches in and it's definitely not a bad thing to include some of these but you can see there is going to be high competition for these so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start coming through and just selecting some of these that we are interested in prayer journal women's prayer journal for women Um, let me just change that so we go the lowest first. So a Jabaz journal. This is your teen girl journal, but we've still got 90 searches a month. So if you did put in there prayer journals, teen girl, you would pretty much almost get a top spot. Prayers journal for women. So this is a really good twist there. Blank prayer journal for kids. Prayer journal for women grief, prayer journal for women daily, prayer journals for wives, wife, women of colour, Spanish women, if you know Spain, absolutely go for it, prayer journal for girla, for N girls, a hardcover prayer journal, so definitely consider that, remember that your margins will be better. Prayer journals for her, for wives, for marriage, for mum, for children, for boys, for a couple, for family, for ladies, for the future. I mean, there are just so many different with purple. So people are searching for purple ones. That's for men, for boys, for anxiety. This is your misspelling. And all these words here, this is what I am looking at putting into my, my research, basically. Okay, and then we'll just leave that there. And then if I hit save checked, okay. So that's now saving them across and that will now come across into my book bolt. there we go so now you can see that and now we can start to analyze this further so you can start then to look for product search you can do keyword finder 
details and you can remove it as well. So if we start with details, so estimated sales volume is one. Competition score is an A. So if we type that in, then great, we're probably gonna get that. But however, people are not really searching for that. So that one there, straight away, I would get rid of that one. Next one up. Again, nothing there. And you can see this is pulling it from Google Trends. Here we go. And here we can see, so now by clicking on that, we can see Prayer Journal for Women Daily, Prayer Journal for Women Grief, Prayer Journal for Women of Colour. And you can see it's the same words coming back up. So what you need to decide, and this is something that I cannot decide for you, is what are the seven ways you are going to put that in. So what I would say is make sure that your title, yes, you could put in Prayer Journal for Women Daily, if it's a daily journal, um, or you could do 52 week, you know, something like that. But then make sure that you are using your subheading as well, making sure that you're getting in as many words as you possibly can. And then going through these and just making sure that you have got the seven best ones that you believe will get your sales and that I cannot decide for you but you do need to take into account the Amazon search volume the competition as well and what you can do so let's just say now you can keep going like you can make this huge so you could now go um, let me take this one out so prayer journal for women daily was something that was coming up there we go so now we've got that and then again you can take this further so you can click back on your search so we've still got over 60,000 results here so still absolutely huge um, so let's just this is pulling through the biggest sellers so far so let me just stop there and we'll change that to published on so we get the most recent ones so estimated day, um, monthly sales is 2.2 $24 but that was only published then whereas you've got this one here 10.95 10.99 so very similar in terms of prices but you can see here so her daily bread prayer journal is the title and then a prayer journal for women so you can see there how many um words are going into that which is brilliant this one here really gone to town with it however hasn't actually ranked too highly for some reason so I would suggest this one here has perhaps not got the keywords within the listing right. And as I did say before, when you are doing your keyword research, if you've got a book that is not selling, then go back again, do your keyword research again. If you believe that you can get that book there, that it is, you know, a competitive book, that it looks great, that it's got, that it's going to solve that problem, then do it. So now if I click back into our keywords, then we can have a look again and we can go search volume, filter it down from the lowest. So you've got daily prayer booklet, which didn't come up before, but that could be a really good one. Women's daily devotional journal, prayer daily. This is coming up, you see now with much lower ones. So now if we could type in prayer journal for women 2023, which has got 997 results. Room prayer journals for women. 
and you can see straight away we are getting different words so you can keep going through and trying i i would try the best that you can to go with the ones that are below a thousand this will give you a much higher chance of being ranked on that first page if you're going to go for the listings that have over 1000 then you might want to start thinking about um, Amazon ads and there's nothing wrong with that at all but this is just how we can try and get some organic traffic so something else that I wanted to just let you know about as well over on BookBolt was the KDP categories. So again, we're typing in our keywords. So we'll stick with the prayer journal, prayer journal for women. That's probably going to be one of our biggest keywords. Search there. And then here you go. So now we can go... Um, non-fiction religion and prayer non-fiction religion prayer books christian that would help me out massively as when you're actually uploading these onto kdp it is really hard i think to find the right place for you and you can see there are other ones um that you can go for but none of these would be i mean there you go you could go non-fiction religion prayer books and then general which might be slightly better than the Christian. Because... Yes, so definitely have a look through here. Honestly, you can get so much information off of BookBolt. Really, really highly recommend it. Do not forget that there is a link down below. Get those journals uploaded. You may still be lucky to get a few sales now. You can download these results. Also, take them across into your um into your spreadsheet and then you can start to track them a little bit better i really hope that you have enjoyed that video today i hope that that has answered some of your questions about how i do my keyword research and if there are any further questions then please leave me a comment down below and i'll try and answer every single comment question that i get and i will see you all next time thank you so much bye